Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to the channel. I just thought it'd be interesting for you to see how swans eat their dinner. They always come, usually a group of them. But this time, this one's just here solo this morning. And it was such a still day. I thought it'd be interesting to see. They actually do like a headstand. And for some reason, they always come here. They like the seaweed, I guess, in front of our house. Don't know why. you think it'd be the same pretty much everywhere, but... He gets him a big breath and sticks his neck way down there and gets him a bite. How they can stand that cold, cold water is always a mystery to me. But he seems to enjoy it. Well, ho, 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 and how do you do, everybody? It's Paul, the old guy here, once again, for one of those favorite rites of the holiday season, and that being the traditional eggnog opening and tasting once again we are officially in that christmas season and nothing speaks christmas more to me than that taste of eggnog sometimes if you're not really feeling the holidays just a bit of something that's traditional from the holidays can just work in your brain to spark a nostalgia or something like that I know eggnog brings back uh, fond memories from even when I was young. And um, now the folks used to put some alcohol in their eggnog, so they would just give me a little tiny sip. But, and boy, it was strong. But it's kind of one of those things I think that it's as you mature, maybe it's um, part of growing older that you kind of develop a taste for it. It's kind of an acquired taste type of thing. But I love the stuff. My daughter, this is just a local brand, CF Burger. And it's made it here in uh, Detroit, Michigan. And I'll tell you, all eggnog is good, but some are different than others, that's for sure. This, over the years, has always proven to be um, very thick very rich and that's what I am always looking for in an eggnog I like it to coat the glass one day hopefully next year if I get settled in the Virginia I want to try to make it my my own but um, if you haven't had eggnog before I encourage you to pick up a bottle there's all kinds of brands out there national brands I've had the Southern Comfort brand before. I think that's probably available for everybody. Doesn't have alcohol in it. This doesn't have alcohol in it. It's um, perfectly fine either way. I hope you can see the. It's almost got um, an off white, a beige, a cream color, I guess is what you'd call it, because it is mighty thick. But a good eggnog, well, that's why I'm using this glass. I always use my traditional one that says what happens under the mistletoe stays under the mistletoe. But, of course, that's in Virginia now, and I'm here in Michigan today. So, But let's do a little tilt to the glass and see if it just coats on there. Oh, yeah, you can't even tell. Look at that. Look at that. Where I'm tilting away from it. Looks like the fluid's still there, but you can clearly see. I have tilted away. So I think that a lot of flavors that are in it, if you've never had it, think about a real thick, rich, creamy milk. And think about flavors of cinnamon and nutmeg. Those are really the holiday type of seasoning that I just, when you taste it, you just think Christmas time. So let's try it out. And you know it's good if you can see little like um almost looks like pepper flakes but they're just pieces i'm sure of the cinnamon or the 
nutmeg um, ingredients. So let's give it a try. I wish you all the best this holiday season, although it's a little early still to do the formal Christmas greetings, I'm sure. But cheers nonetheless. You just savor the flavor. It's sweet, creamy, so good. It's funny, eggnog seems to be one of those things that people either love it or they hate it. I knew a guy once that referred to it as the nectar of the gods. <laughs> It's best enjoyed, you know, um, in small amounts, and it'll last a while, so it's nice you can um, just keep it in the fridge and every so often. When you want a taste of the Christmas season, just get you a little glass. So as always, let me know in the comments. You love eggnog, despise it, can't believe anybody likes it. Have you ever made it at home? I'll have to find a recipe and give it a try. So, as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by for a few minutes and spending some time with the old guy. Until next time, we'll see you.